Yeah, I mean, the best way to learn a new technology is to um, is to think of a use case for it, like some, something you want to build that would use it, mm -hmm. and a very specific kind of project that will use that thing. Mm -hmm. And then you go and you focus on not on learning the technology, but on building that thing. Mm -hmm. And then as a, as, a, as a side effect of building that thing, you will learn the technology. Right. But you do it as you go. But that will be a sub-feature of, of your current project. Uh, that or it could, be, it could be an entirely new thing. It could be, it could be literally, it could, it could be like, um, you go to a hackathon and you say, at this hackathon, I want to learn WebRTC. Yeah. I'm going to build something that uses WebRTC. And then, but the thing is, the goal is not, the goal is not to learn WebRTC. Mm -hmm. The goal is to build the thing. Mm -hmm. and, 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 so you, and, and so the learning happens naturally and as an as a organic part of the process of building the, other th of building the thing. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, I found that when I, whenever I, um, when I, so when I was first learning programming, I would buy like a programming book, and I would like read it like front to back, mm -hmm. and then I would like try to go and use it, and mm -hmm. it was very ineffective. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like the worst way to learn, mm -hmm. and so uh, I know I, I don't I would not like ever do that again anymore. It just doesn't. It's like by the time you get to the end, you forgot everything in the beginning, mm -hmm. and you, the only way to really solidify your understanding of something is to use it, right? So.